It's another mini awesome cast, and we're getting very video gamey. So, hello over there on insertcointobegin.com. Uh, of course, the GDC, the Game Developers Conference, is happening right now, and uh, it, it made a lot of lot of uh, uh, conversation. And this may be even bigger than what we see at E3, um, uh, more or less. So many announcements, of course, VR as we've we've talked about already uh, on this show. And uh, today, I'm looking at uh, something I'm hearing about uh, that they were talking about over on Daily Tech News Show. I wanted to dig a little deeper into it. Uh, is the uh, the Shield Nvidia Shield, which uh, you may know, it's this controller Shield portable Shield tablet. It's kind of a Nvidia powered Android devices. Um, it's tied into Steam already. Um, y- you could stream, uh, you know, games. I think via you know the the stream uh, Steam streaming service as well. But also on top of that, they they've just announced a two hundred dollar gaming focused Android TV set top box. Now the cool things about this one it looks pretty slick there, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but it's also as far as video, it's going to be the first four uh, K streaming device for anybody out there that has that kind of thing. That's cool. But it's really going to be focused, of course, on gaming. Um, they're going to have uh, you know Android ported stuff, and and this is interesting. They're saying they're going to get Android ported versions of Borderlands the pre sequel, Doom Three BFG edition. Uh, and uh, Talos Principle, uh, uh, the Talos Principle, and Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. Those are going to be ported to Android. I mean, obviously, they're only going to be able to be supported on a console like this because it's going to have a little more power behind it. It's not like you're going to drop this on your on your uh, uh, Samsung S6, I don't think, and, and be able to play some uh, you know uh, Metal Gear Solid full on game. But on top of that, they announced this grid system, which I think they've been developing over over the past year. Year, but they're going to be kind of opening it up and it's going to be a kind of online streaming subscription based service much like we're getting a lot with uh playstation service that uh, the the gaikai technology or on live and i've said several times on the on boss battle that this is the this could be the future and this could be the breakdown of console gaming as we get better bandwidth and these services come come up i mean how many options do we have now now, the only thing is with this, and, and you look at it, it's just like, you know, you would expect all of the hot titles are, are in here. Um, in the examples they're given, like free with subscription. So you subscribe to the service. And, and this is really interesting to me, actually, as a person that like buys a bunch of games and then like doesn't get to them um, and, and really kind of loving getting to the subscription kind of model when it comes to video games and, and everything else I do in life, like my comics, my videos, I mean, it's all it's all subscription based. Right. Um then I know I'm not I'm fitting in my budget, right? Uh, but like they're showing like free with subscription, you know, stuff like Marvel superheroes, Metro Last Light, uh, Batman Arkham Origins, uh, Lego Harry Potter. So I mean, it's it's a mix of stuff from from developers. Obviously, you're not going to get exclusive stuff, and it's whatever developers have kind of uh, uh, jumped on board with this, right? Um, but uh, and there's also option to purchase individual titles that they couldn't get licensed to on the on the free service. Uh, this is really interesting. I, I, I don't I, I'm surprised to hear because I, I always thought when I heard about the shield, which was a, really a controller that uh, you put a it had a screen attached to it. And that's how you played these games. And now you can get a TV version, too. Um this is uh, this is a further fracturing, I think, of console PC gaming. Uh, you're having the Steam OS come up. Uh, you're having this happen. Um, uh, you know, I, I and I don't know that their marketing muscle going to be competitive with something with an Xbox or a PlayStation. But this is another place somebody can go. This is another option that somebody can pick up this device for two hundred bucks and play a lot of the same games that are popping up over on the four or five hundred dollar consoles with the uh, Xbox and the PlayStation. Um, I think that's a very valid valid argument there. No, I don't expect this to blow anybody else out of the water, but I think it's going to take a sizable chunk out of it. And with as big as the video game industry is growing and everybody's trying to find cheaper ways to play video games, I know I am, um, you know, this is... I think this is very interesting, and the digitalization of, of things. This is the kind of thing with these kind of streaming services that I think Xbox was promising um, until they pulled the plug on off, on all of it after everybody complained. So let me know what do you think. Do you think uh, the Shield tablet portable TV, the Android TV, which is really intriguing to me, um, do you think they're viable options? Do you think they'll get any groundswell? Are you interested in them? Let me know on the comments of this video. I, 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 at AwesomeCast. Uh, on the Twitter and check out everything else at awesomecast.com for this weekend. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time.
the show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.